Hello and welcome. This is Kendra and I'm so glad you're here. Today we have a collaboration hop featuring products from Whimsy Stamps, one of the Kendra's Card Challenge 13 super sponsors. Some members of the video team will be sharing projects made with products from Whimsy Stamps using the Kendra's Card Challenge 13 sketches. And I'll be sharing how to make a fun fold card. And this is a giveaway hop, so stay tuned for details on how to enter and have a chance to win a digital download prize from me. Whimsy Stamps generously donated a few gift certificates for the team members to shop and select products that we wanted to create with, and these are the products that I'll be using for my card today. This is the stamp set called Odorable Skunks, or Odorable, and it has four adorable skunk images along with eight different sentiments, hugs for my odor half, so ador adorable, <laughs> you and I just make sense, too stinking cute, hiya, trust your instincts, and hang in there. And I'm going to be using two different 6x6 paper pads. The first one is called Boca Bliss, and it has a bunch of colorful Boca patterns. And I've selected this one here with the mint green and the pink. And I'm also using the Fabulous Florals paper pad. This pad has some gorgeous floral patterns, and on the back there's different colored stripe patterns. And I'm using the black and white stripes. I figured this would go perfectly with the skunks. As mentioned before, I'm making a fun fold card and I'll be using sketch number 11 from challenge 13, but I'll be changing it up some. If you're not familiar with my quarterly card making challenges, it's where you can create 15 cards with six sheets of six by six coordinating pattern paper using the cutting guides and card sketches provided in a free PDF digital download. If you join the challenge and post your cards on social media, you can have a chance to win one of over $1,000 worth of prizes from 20 different companies, including Whimsy Stamps. They have generously offered a prize of a $50 gift certificate for entering the challenge. So for more information about the challenge, I will link the Challenge 13 introduction video above and in the description box below, which explains more about it and how to enter to win those prizes. Sketch 11 is a sketch by Call Me Crafty Al, the creator of Sheetload of Cards. It's one of her past sketches. If you're not familiar with Sheet Loader Cards, I will link her YouTube channel below as well so you can check it out. Rather than having a card base, I'm just going to use an A2 sized panel that measures four and a quarter by five and a half, but you can certainly use a card base if you want. And I'll be cutting this striped paper to be the same size as the panel, and it will be glued directly on top. I also have a strip that measures two and a quarter by 11 inches. And this will actually be a top folding card, so I'll just score that in the middle. But just this part will open. The measurements on the sketch call for a two and three quarter inch layer to go in the middle, but I just made mine a half an inch smaller since I already had this two and a quarter inch piece cut from some heavyweight cardstock from a previous project. And rather than having the two one inch strips on the ends, I'm just using the entire panel, but if you want to conserve supplies to make them go further, you could cut the strips. I cut a layer of pink glitter cardstock to also measure two and a quarter inches, and this will be glued on top of that front. Next, I used a two inch by five and a quarter inch, or I'm sorry, five and a half inch strip from the Boca paper to go on top of that glitter paper. And this will lay in the middle of the card on the center of that striped panel. Now for the stamping, I'm using my Misty Stamping Platform and a half sheet of Expressit Blending cardstock since I'll be using Copic markers to color these cute little skunks. This cardstock is amazing for use with Copic coloring and for ink blending. And rather than taking the stamps off of the clear plastic sheet that they come on, I'm just going to tape the entire thing to the door of my Misty using some low tack tape. And I'll be stamping this with black ink and adding some clear embossing powder on top. So I'm using my anti-static powder tool on top of that first. And I'm using VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. And since this is a pigment ink and it stays wet a little bit longer, um, it stays wet long enough to, so that you can apply some clear embossing powder on top. I let my heat gun heat up for about 30 seconds before melting the powder. This is one of my favorite parts of heat embossing. And I love that it gives a raised edge to help me stay within the lines when I color the image. While letting that cool some, I went ahead and cut out the layer to go behind the rectangle piece out of some glossy black cardstock. I originally thought that I would put a white rectangle on top of it, but I ended up changing my mind, which you'll see in a second. 
but I fussy cut out the image of the skunk holding the bouquet of roses and this is where I decided to bring in one of those scrap strips of floral paper from the Fabul fabulous florals paper pad so I cut a one and three quarter inch rectangle piece out of a two inch strip and I think it just kind of ties all of the colors together while I glue the pieces down I'll tell you how to enter the giveaway for this hop for a chance to win a digital download from me, you'll need to complete the form that's linked in the description box below and then hop along and watch the other videos in the playlist. You can complete the form for each video that you watch for more chances to win, but you'll want to do this by March 1st of 2024. The winner will be randomly chosen and announced on my community tab, so make sure you're a subscriber and have those notifications turned on so you don't miss any of my posts. I'll have a link to the hop playlist in my description box below. Next, I used Copic markers to color in the skunk. I will have the list of colors that I used also in the description box. I'm using pinks for the roses and mint green for the leaves to match the colors in that pattern paper. I added C0, which is a really light cool gray to the white parts of the skunk, and C7 to the black part. Um, but like I said, I'll have all the supplies listed in the description box that I used to make this card along with links in case you're interested in purchasing any of these items. Now these are affiliate links, which means if you make a purchase, I receive a small commission at no extra cost to you. And this helps to support my channel. For one of my sentiments, I cut out Haya and glued it on top of a slightly bigger piece of glossy black cardstock. I originally thought about putting the skunk on the rectangle, but I didn't want to cover up that pretty flower, so I decided to put the sentiment in the middle of that piece and the skunk at the bottom. And since this is a fun fold, and I wanted to have something fun on the inside, I stamped, cut out, and colored one of the other skunk images off camera. This is the one that's hanging from the tree branch, and I'm just going to glue this to the inside. And I put the uh, hang in there sentiment below that. There's still a little bit of room below that to be able to write a message. And I think this skunk is absolutely adorable. To finish off the card, I'm using this confetti mix from This Calls for Confetti, another one of our prize sponsors. And this is called Midnight Dahlia. And I just plan on picking out a few of the different sized black flat confetti pieces. Whimsy Stamps carries a variety of confetti mixes by This Calls for Confetti in some gorgeous colors, so I hope you'll check it out. Again, I'll have everything linked in the description box below. And this is my finished card. I think it's super cute. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd like to thank Whimsy Stamps for being such a generous prize sponsor and for sending the team some products to create with. Whimsy Stamps has been a sponsor since challenge number four, so I really appreciate their generosity. Not only can you have a chance to win a $50 gift certificate from Whimsy Stamps, but you can also have a chance to win prizes from 20 other companies like I mentioned before. You'll have a set of coordinating cards also when you're done, which is the best part. There's still plenty of time to join the challenge this quarter. You have until March 31st to get photos of your cards uploaded to the Kendra's Card Challenges Facebook group to enter. And I'll have a link to that group in the description box as well. I'd also like to thank my patrons. Patrons receive extra benefits and perks as part of my membership program, including monthly digital downloads, card making kits, and more. So for more information, visit patreon.com forward slash Kendra's Card Challenges. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.